Welcome everyone, I'd like to try to fix your iPod Touch not charging. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to power off your iPod Touch. It may be already powered off. And what you want to check is if it's charging while the iPod is off. If that's the case, there are two problems that may be uh, playing. The first one is the charging port itself may be faulty. And the second one may be that your charger is faulty, where it's only able to deliver enough charge when the iPod is off and not when it's on. So you have two options uh, if that's the situation. The first one is you can always just, you know, keep your iPod touch when you need to charge it. Just keep it powered off when you're charging. And then once you're done, you turn it back on. That's quite inconvenient, but you know, it's a free fix and it works. The second fix is you may need to get a brand new charger instead. Now, if you're in a situation where, you know, you turn off your iPod touch and it's not charging when it's powered off, then what you may want to do is just try another charger regardless, uh, see if that's going to work. Also, before you just get another charger, see if the existing charger works on any other devices, like try an iPhone or an old drive pack, because all the new ones uh, use USB-C, and see whether or not the uh, these other devices are charging. Because if those other devices are charging and your iPod isn't, then it's an issue with the iPod Touch itself. If the other devices aren't charging either, then it's an issue with a charger. Of course, a simple fix is just to get another charger. So let's say it's the charger. Okay, you're good to go. If it isn't the charger and it's the iPod Touch itself, well, really there's not much you can do because it's not an issue with the battery because if it was an issue with the battery, you would still see the charging screen and then when the iPod Touch would turn on, it would shut back off. If you do have that situation, for whatever reason you, you, know, you stumbled across this video, that means your battery is faulty, that means it isn't able to sustain enough charge. What you can do in that situation is you can get an iPad charger, so not the charging cable, but the actual charging brick itself, the more powerful chargers, and those will actually help it, uh, the iPod Touch run off of the charger directly. So if you're in that situation, I recommend you do that. However, if that still doesn't work, then really, that means your iPod Touch is faulty, and so you have a couple of options you can take in that situation. So if this iPod Touch was bought from Apple directly, and it's less than five years old, if you're in the UK or the EU, you have consumer law uh, to help you out. So what is consumer law? Well, what it means is it's UK law and it's EU law that you get warranty for any product five years after the delivery date. So you want to check when the iPod Touch was delivered. If it was delivered from Apple directly, you have five years warranty. So if the iPod Touch is charging, guess what? You can contact Apple support. So there's an uh, Apple support app. Uh, you can also just search up Apple support number uh, in Google. If you don't have any other iOS devices, contact them directly and arrange a repair. Now, usually they will say, oh, we're going to charge you money. When they start talking about stuff like that, say, can I have the repair through consumer law? They'll say yes. They'll, probably, they'll they try and make it as hard as possible. So they'll, they'll want to call you. They'll like waste probably like a couple of hours of your time because I had to do a MacBook repair through consumer law. They make it as hard as possible to get that repair done. Let me tell you, but at the end, they will give it to you. That's the, that's the important part. And um, they'll put a box where you put your iP uh, iPod Touch in, you send it off and then they'll fix the charging issue. If they can't fix the charging issue, you get a brand new iPod Touch completely for free and then you're good to go. Well, if you are in the other countries and you don't have the consumer law though, well, what you can do is just check maybe there's some different sort of law which is available. You'll need to research that yourself. If there is no law, what we're going to have to do is if you have that year limited warranty left and you're good to go, you can use that. If you don't have the limited warranty, well, unfortunately, your iPod Touch is basically, you know, it's done for. Uh, I recommend you to sell it off of eBay. First, make sure you factory sell all your data, of course. Uh, sell it off as faulty and then either get a new iPod Touch or a cheaper iPhone instead. I recommend you get the cheaper iPhone instead because for, you know, half the price, you can get an iPhone 7, larger screen, same processor, uh, same amount of RAM, but with Touch ID and stuff like that. So really, that's up to you. Uh, that's really everything you can do. Uh, in order to solve the charging issue on your iPod Touch. And with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.